Today I will be sharing my personal thoughts comparing two outdoor stove tents, the 12x12 Cabela's Alacnac versus the Kodiak 6170. This video is not sponsored in any way and is based solely on my personal opinion. Let's start with the 12x12 Alacnac. This one is part of Cabela's Outfitter series. It measures approximately 10 foot by 12 foot across with 4 foot side walls boasting a 9 foot 8 foot tall center height. This tent is held up with 10 four foot poles around the perimeter and a center support pole. The Cabela's website says this tent holds steady in high winds and I assure you from unplanned testing that this statement is very very true. There are three windows above the four foot high wall line and three windows with awnings below the wall line with a couple of vents at the center peak. Let's go inside and take a look. There is a small stove exhausting through a five inch roof jack. Being six foot tall, there is nice headroom when moving around the tent. There is plenty of room for my extra extra large Teton Outfitters camping cot. I like having the room for a small stack of wood to help keep the stove going all night. There's room for a chair for myself or a guest to stay warm by the stove and a sleeping bag on the floor for my dog. You could sleep four with stacking cots or maybe a queen inflatable mattress, but this tent is very roomy and accommodating for two to three people in all your gear. Here's the center pole. It breaks in half for transport. I currently have my jacket hanging on the removable lantern hook. There are three zip-up large multi-panel vinyl windows that help with ventilation when needed. They have exterior Velcro vinyl covers that roll away when you want to let the breeze in through the mesh windows. The 5-inch stove jack in the tent roof features a roll-away storm flap to help keep the flap away from the hot chimney pipe when in use. The additional floor liner is cut away, allowing you access to zip away the tent floor, exposing the bare earth under the stove if desired. The tent comes with 12 inch steel stakes and adjustable guy ropes. The exterior fabric of the tent is a breathable, UV resistant, and waterproof 250D polyester tent cloth with polyurethane coating. I chose to purchase the additional 210D polyester coated floor to help protect the Alacnax 300D tent floor from my cots and other gear with sharp edges. I really enjoy the fold down cup holders and stash pockets. A nice little place to stash things like keys, wallet, and flashlights. There is one two, three, and four of these on the inside of the tent. A clever little addition is this small zipper at the bottom of the tent if you want to bring in a cord from a generator or solar system. Now, moving on to the Kodiak model 6170. It measures approximately 12 foot by 12 foot across with four foot sidewalls and a seven and a half foot peak. The five inch stove jack accommodates the wood stove nicely. One inch galvanized steel tubing uprights give this tent outstanding structure. This tent has a ridge pole that runs over the top of the tent from the front to the back. There are seven large windows surrounding the tent for exceptional air circulation in hot weather. Now let's take a peek inside. As you can see, there's plenty of space for one to four people. Here is another extra extra large Teton Outfitters camping cot. You can check that out in the description below. And I love the large front door too. It makes it a little easier to pass through than the Alacnax design. This tent is very spacious and open. That center pole is removable. If you don't want to have it in there, you don't have to. I just put it in there during high winds or bad weather.
Yes, that is the Alpine stove from Colorado Cylinder Stoves. Feel free to check out the unsponsored link in the description below. The Kodiak has a very nice, open feeling, especially with all the windows. I really like the 10 ounce Hydra Shield canvas roof. It really helps light up the inside of the tent. The Kodiak has two vents at the ridge line, one at each end of the tent to help any unwanted smoke evacuate the tent quickly. The sturdy YKK zippers with rope pulls make for easy operation of the windows and vents. One of my favorite things of this tent are these massive windows. They let in so much additional light and so much air circulation, which I honestly don't get as much of in the Alaknak. The windows roll away nicely with the sewn-in canvas ties. I like the fold-down cup holders and stash pockets in the Alaknak, but these will suffice in the Kodiak. The tensioning system on the Kodiak is a very simple design. The wall material is a 8.5 ounce Hydra Shield canvas. The 13.5 ounce polyester vinyl floor with reinforced and welded seams gives me more confidence than the floor of the Alaknak. If you so desire, you can additionally purchase the 10 ounce Kodiak floor liner sold in various sizes on their website. Before I close with my overall thoughts, please extend a thanks for this video by clicking the like button below. With that out of the way, what are my overall thoughts? Well, the 12x12 Alaknak is a lighter payload with a 23 pound frame, 13 pounds of stakes, and 31 pounds of polyester tent cloth body, giving it a total weight of 67 pounds. The heavier Kodiak 6170 states its shipping weight is 97 pounds. I have yet to do a breakdown on the weight. The Alaknak's current price without any additional accessories as of the release date of this video is $899.99. The Kodiak 6170 comes in at the same price without any additional accessories at $899.99 US dollars as well. The Alaknak is a little easier for one person to set up and is lighter, but if weight isn't a concern and you have a helper with you, in my belief, the better way to go is the Kodiak 6170. The material is a thicker 8.5 ounce canvas versus the Alaknax 250D polyester. Yes, both tents were placed on a common moving tarp, however the 13.5 ounce vinyl floor of the Kodiak versus the 300D polyester floor of the Alaknax just felt more thicker and durable. The Alaknax awning is a nice touch, but me being 6 foot tall, the entryway of the Kodiak is a bit more inviting than having to duck down into the Alaknax entrance. If you want to open the windows to let light in the Alaknak during the rain, you can do so without worry of water coming in because of its multi-panel vinyl window with zippered covers and screen panel design. The rain would unfortunately have opportunity to get inside a majority of the Kodiak windows with its six large no CM mesh windows. There is one window that has an awning on it that will keep the weather out if you need circulation during those stormy conditions. When it comes to my thoughts on tent versus weather, if you don't plan on seeing outside in the rain, I feel the Kodiak is going to withstand the elements better both cold and hot. We tested these tents side by side on a 55 degree daytime and 40 degree nighttime test for a week on the desert. Being able to open the six large windows on the Kodiak cools it down quickly on those hotter days and it breathes so much better than the Alaknak. I absolutely loved how bright it was during the daytime with the white Hydra Shield canvas roof and all the windows open. But if light isn't a great concern and you're not concerned about cooling the tent down in warmer weather, the lighter Alaknak may be the better way for you to go. There are additional accessories you can purchase for both of these tents on each of the manufacturer's websites to upgrade your tent at additional costs. You honestly can't make a bad choice either way. It just depends on your needs and accommodations. Please feel free to comment and reach out to me with any questions you may have below. Again, if you've enjoyed this review, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.